Just days after waiving their right to anonymity to tell their stories, another huge step for Andy Woodward and Steve Walters, launching the Offside Trust to support other players and their families coming forward with allegations of abuse. I want to thank my mum and dad, who both are dying and they're dead proud of me. And I also want to thank you know, every individual, every member of the public, that have supported me and made this happen because this is going to change. This is going to change people's lives, and I can't thank you all enough. It's the best thing I've ever done. Now, as I said to Andy before, I'd have carried a hundred ton weight on my back for years and years, and that's that's gone now. There's a little light at the end of the tunnel. I can see that now. The lawyer helping launch the trust says new allegations are arriving all the time, some relating to people still working within football. Yes, I think it could only be described as a tidal wave of victims coming forward. People have been contacting the players themselves who are directors of the trust uh, for the last two or three weeks. So it's absolutely clear that this problem is alive and, and very much still in the game. Where victims want to, the new trust is liaising with police. 20 different police forces are now investigating historical child sex abuse allegations within football. Other former players like Matthew Monaghan were at today's press conference and have also waived their right to anonymity, not least to help others. It's a relief, you know. It's like Stevie said before, he feels like 100 ton weights being lifted off his shoulders. I, I've always struggled about talking about it, you know. But this is this is helping me. And hopefully it can help others as well, you know. And Mark Williams has only just started telling his story. This is the first day he's spoken on camera. When I come here today, it's um, it's really, really tough. I played Premier League internationally. Um, but if I can just make it okay for a child to come out and I find the courage to say they've spoke out this is fine it's okay we can speak doing this together and with their family's help the players want justice of course but want to offer a lifeline of support for footballers past and present as this story grows and grows peter lane five news